Thank you, Dana. Hello and good morning. Um, as Senior Art Director at Zynga's Natural Motion Games, I have the privilege of working on Star Wars Hunters with the rest of our amazing team. And I'm excited to talk to you about our upcoming cross-platform arena shooter. In our game, players will face off in 4v4 multiplayer battles, selecting from a roster of brand new characters to fight in battlefields inspired by iconic Star Wars locations. Hunters squad up and head into battle against the competition, both friendly and fierce. Our vision for this game is to create new and authentic expressions of Star Wars characters based on iconic archetypes familiar to fans, but with an all new twist. Set on a new planet called Vespara, Fans from across the galaxy take their seats in one of our many arenas to see the Hunters fight in thrilling matches and cheer on their heroes up close and personal. Today, we're going to focus on some specifics around mobile development and the opportunities that using Unreal Engine has opened up for us. This is Reeve, one of our most iconic and popular Hunters from our soft launch. It took a lot of work to create this lightsaber-wielding dark side assassin you see before, before you, starting with us collaborating closely with our colleagues at Lucasfilms on ways we can create something grounded in the Star Wars galaxy while still keeping the sense of larger-than-life personality that is unique to our game. We wanted each hunter to have their own unique playstyle and character, so rapid iteration was critical. Using Unreal's animation features coupled with our character creation tool, we found efficiencies in prototyping by reusing animations from hunter to hunter and identifying gaps that we could fill with simple animations created within Unreal itself. Using Unreal's multiple pie views and networking modes allowed us to test and tweak multiplayer abilities rapidly, which supports us in achieving great gameplay experiences across all of our maps and modes. In particular, the option to control one view with mouse and keyboard and another with controller means two people can play in one machine at once and then tweak the gameplay in real time. This is very useful for understanding not only how it feels to use a weapon or ability, but also how it feels to have it used on you. And this is particularly important to nail an ability like Reeve's Vicious Leap, where the player needs to feel powerful, but also in control. Unreal has been a great asset in helping us build and deliver a game that looks great and is an authentic addition to the Star Wars universe. We recently revamped our lighting, making full use of Unreal's best-in-class lighting tools. And this has significantly enhanced our visuals, this upgrade delivers a broad spectrum of vivid colors and realistic material interactions with scalable performance across all of our platforms. Unreal Engine's dynamic tools have played a pivotal role in infusing our cosmetics with character without the need for extra animations. This secondary movement in the scene further brings our world to life and is particularly impactful on smaller screens. And by incorporating HDR cube maps, we've heightened the richness and vibrancy of our materials across all of our characters and environments. Unreal Engine 5's advanced post-processing and cinematic features have enabled us to seamlessly create marketing assets from the newer version of the engine. We're incredibly proud of how, with the help of Unreal, we were able to craft this high-quality cross-platform experience, both in terms of gameplay and visual fidelity on all of our platforms. We can't wait for you to play it on iOS, Android, and Nintendo Switch soon. Thank you, and see you in the arena.